Hey there, other holder, and welcome to another reaction. This time, I'm going to be reacting to the Legend of Vox Machina, hold on, season two, episode six, into Rhyme Clips. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay. Oh, we're starting out with Grog in a Sparta setting, and I have no idea what the title, what the title of this episode is hinging to, except that they're going to a loca location with called Rhyme Cleft. Uh oh, the sword with blood. Is he dreaming this or is this? Wake up, sir. I think you're in a dream. Yeah. All right, so we're. Jesus. All right, so we're we're continuing off with what kind of happened in the previous episode, which is we saw a moment of it. Where the sword wanted blood, and and then it, it well it said that while or no it said it needed blood, but then it said any blood while he was pointing the sword at uh, Pike. So yeah, I had a bad feeling this was gonna lead to something like where he's gonna end up probably attacking the group. You made the proud grog. Father. No. I'm guessing that was Pop. Don't see it being grandfather. The fact that Pike is sleeping right next to the sword too, um, it's a good thing the sword can't get up on its own. Yeah, I'm really thinking you should just cast it into the lava or the fire or something wrong. I don't think it's worth trying to tame this thing or being like, you know what, let's, let's come to a compromise. Uh-uh. You were doing fine with the axe before, you don't need this thing. Ah, what a lovely morning to find a sphinx. Mm, indeed. Nothing for you to eat right now. You will feed me. Oh. I love that. I honestly kind of love the conversation between two of them, though, because you got this thing that's like this ancient sounding evil. I need blood. <laughs> and then you have Grog's just derpy, like silly, I don't know, not ditzy. Um, like just, oh, I won't sound like this. <laughs> kind of voice and talking to it. Okay, okay. You, uh, talking to big guy? Uh, My stick. You notice Grog acting strange? I mean, he's real dumb. It's kind of hard to tell. Hey. It's just you can't fault a guy for uh, playing with his sword now. Of course, he's gonna go that way. Now and then. Why can't you ever just be serious for once? Be sincere. Or sincere. Yes, Kenlin. Be sincere. Because I'm pretty sure you have a thing for Pike, and I don't think you're a whole. Everything has to have in window and all stuff is gonna get you anywhere. <laughs> like I know he's got a caring side or everything, so it's like he. It, it reminds me of somebody who. It, you know what? It almost reminds me of. It reminds me of Blitz from Hell of a Boss, where he covers his like sensitive, like emotional side with, or he hides his emotions with like a lot of sexual jokes and all that stuff, and everything. And yeah, Scanlan kind of reminds me of that, but less violent and kind of crazy. Your armor, you um. Getting more used to it? Oh, you two are talking. To Maybe you could ask her for help. Ask the matron of ravens. Somehow I doubt she'd listen. I mean, you did ask it to take you instead of your sister, so, uh... Maybe it will? <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to ask, maybe at this point. You could try. Mm-hmm. Who's watching, you guys? That looks too small to be the dragon I'm thinking of, but maybe it is. It's that green dragon that, uh, because, yeah, we left off with the previous episode with what's her name? The one with the missing arm, the one from uh, that was working with the Briar's Woods, uh, Briar Woods. She went and showed a blue orb to that green acid dragon, and I'm guessing he's coming to stop them. Which, actually, that's good, because if these guys split up and try to take on the group one at a time, that's where they have the biggest chance. It's when they had to deal with all five dragons, six dragons, is when it's, like, really hard or impossible. The entire range is eternally cold. Well, except for Pyra. I would say, you know, why is it that Keyleth isn't cold, but then again, she's also accepted the fire. So she's probably warm. 
There's a myth about it. I love how you see the ones affected are, you know what, you would think Grog would, considering he's like mostly bare chest, like he's arms are pretty bare, his chest is completely bare. But then you look at it, you got Scallon and um, you got Vex, who's <laughs> they're both cold. My balls are ice cubes. Hard to mm. believe we're gonna find us. Are so many walks where they're getting cling cling. This was taking place. Or not clang clang, I guess. That sounds more like metal. Clink clink. <laughs> I'm as cold as a corpse. And I'd rather not repeat that experience. Uh. Oh, no, Percy. I didn't mean. No, please. <laughs> Kilo's face! Kilo's face! That's exactly the face I just put I'm just like. <laughs> she sees it. Oh, she's. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, these two have had Kessum. Kes I was gonna say Kessumry. These two have had chemistry uh, since, like, close to the beginning. I've, like, their banter back and forth has always felt kind of like. They I mean, they could be just really close friends, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I can see this leading them more. So, yeah, you know what? Could be fine with that. Just take it. Mm. I'm fine. Sure. The, the the snot coming out of your nose tells other says otherwise. Here. How cute. What a gentleman. Let me help. Oh, there you go. Hey. Neat trick. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I like cold. <laughs> Makes my nipples tingly. Did he just it sounded like he said nipples, but I'm pretty certain he said nipples. At least he didn't say perky. Come here. Oh, oh, hey, Grog, what are you- Don't you worry, Scanlan. Uncle Grog is hey, gonna hey, keep I... you warm. Me... Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a baby! I would say, I wouldn't complain. You're, you're like into men and women, so, but this is not meant to be taken that way, so just allow him to warm you up. Huh. This is actually kind of cozy. But, uh, Grog... Uh... The sparkles in Scanlan's eyes. <laughs> that sword seems to. Ooh, you want a bouncy? Come on, a bounce, a bounce, a bounce, we go. Completely ignoring Pike. Ah, uh, guys. I know crows are usually a sign of like omens and stuff. Even though I like crows, and I don't think that's the case like for in real life. But like I know in shows and series and all that stuff, they usually are. So, what's coming up? Why is the ominous mu- What's this? Obelisk? Now? Oh. Why do they still look so... meaty? <laughs> they don't look like they died that long- Well, if it's cold enough, I guess they've been preserved, so never mind. What do they mean? I believe I can read some of it. Mm, yes, well then why don't you go ahead and do that there, Percy? Of course you can. It reminds me of that meme that's been going around lately where it's like- Like somebody says they have something- and the other person goes, well, I have more, or I have something better. And it's just like, well, F you that, you rich, snobby <laughs> What? I forgot what the hell the meme goes. Volantia. Yes, fly, wicked witch. <laughs> gonna get bored of this. I wouldn't either. I wish we had brooms that did that. Or any, any device like that that flies, that lets us fly like that. Maybe. There's a lot of them. Uh, that don't look like no door. I think that's it's a secret door. You all coming or what? Run through. We're fine. Is that like a dead caribou or something? I see a Sphinx artwork. Or Sphinx. What is this place? A temple. An old one. Aren't they all? Not this. <laughs> Aren't they all? <laughs> okay, this one's a little less so. It's more old than ancient. Before the calamity between men and gods. How do you there might be a god still in there. You know all this. <laughs> little chest plate told me. I just know. Mm -hmm. Very smart. And yet not smart enough. My warnings. Oh, not oh the obelisk warnings. <laughs> Whoa, what are you? Oh, well, you know a Sisa? Oh, you're like an Egyptian statue as well. 
Is he about to say my mother? Me to send you. Wait, what? I thought her mate was killed, right? Or also if Kayla's face. <laughs> I, saw that, I love the expression sometimes of these guys, uh, but I just, I thought them, I thought, she, didn't she say that her mate was killed or dead or was he missing? There's no way she sent them off on this quest, not knowing that he was one of the guardians or something. I don't know. She wasn't like with anybody else, if you're worried. It's Kylan. The looks they're all giving him, they're like, really? You must prove your worth in a challenge. challenge. Yes, we sort of. Yeah, we had to do with that with your mate. Assumed. Conquer the 70 death gorgons. 70 death gorgons? How big are these gorgons? Survive the endless labyrinth of misery. Endless labyrinth of misery. Is that what happened to this caribou elk deer thing? Or wound me. Or wound me. I'm not gonna lie, the 70 Gorgons or wounding him sound the best. The endless maze just sounds, I don't know, unbeatable. In my eons of life, I have never felt pain. I want to feel it. <laughs> Your challenge is to inflict an injury. Any wound will do. Even like a little uh, thorn, you know, like with the lion, do a little... Do a thorn or a uh, splinter or something small. <laughs> Will that work? Uh, give us just a sec. Let us talk about this. Guys, death gorgon sound cool as fuck. Yeah, I was gonna say that sounds honestly the best and then I would say injuring him. That dude is his oldest time and he's never felt pain. Never stubbed his toe, poked his- Never stubbed his toe, never stepped on a Lego. That's great. Die. Never had an ingrown hair on his peen. Ew. Oh, I didn't even think that could happen. Ah! Oh. <laughs> also, does he even have a peen? Actually, you know what? I don't even want to think about, like, nah. I don't even want to think about whether he has that or not. I would say pimple, but I this thing looks like they're made of stone. I don't think they get pimples. I can see them getting pebbles? I don't know. You want to fight that? We don't have He's just standing there. I love how the, the Sphinx is just, like, staring down at them, waiting. He probably can hear them per perfectly fine. To defeat him, just hurt him. Ugh, any one of us should be able to land a single hit for fuck's sake. I would not be that cocky, Vax. <laughs> any one of us should be able to hit him. I he's a freaking god, or like a god, like, and he's never felt pain. Like, come on, that would scare me a bit. Okay, your sphinxness. Hmm. We choose to. Hmm. That'll do. Dude. I see. Did he smirk a bit? He went like, he was like... <laughs> I'd be scared. Organs have been itching for a battle. Very well then. I still want to know what Gorgons are, too. Ooh, pretty. Each of you will have a chance to wound me in a one-on-one oh. -on -one battle. Oh, it's the 1v1. Oh, good luck. Oh, uh, how about Vex? I love how they just keep, st they all just keep giving Scanlan looks. Really, dude? <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> you send off the one that just died not long ago and we just got brought back and then you have her be the first- Okay, Scanlan. You won't be able to overpower him. <sighs> Brawn's not really my thing. I mean, we did see what he did. Like, honestly, he might have the best chance considering what we saw him do to that other thing in the previous episode. Or was it the previous? No. Two ups, go. No, not now, Creepy. We are in the middle Creepy. of the Feed me, or I will feed myself. Oh. <laughs> See, that's where you just drop the sword off the edge of the galaxy since you're in another dimension, and bye bye. I mean, didn't it just do the very same thing by sucking out whatever it was in his arm that shrunk it? Like, isn't that the same thing? Let's do this, he's gonna drain. Oh, he's not even gonna be able to fight, I don't think, because he's gonna drain himself. Fortunately for you, you will live long enough to feel its weight. <laughs> it's just 
in his face. <laughs> Bye. But he will fall in the void forever. Unless one of you can succeed. So who is next? Who's it going to come? Who's going to actually be able to do this? I don't see, I'm, I feel like it could be Grog because we're kind of focusing on him with his turmoil going on right now. But at the same time, he's also being, he's also feeding the sword. So I don't think he's going to have the like, strength. Could it be Scanlan? Could it be Scanlan's time to shine? I don't know. I don't see it being Keyleth because Keyleth just had her moment in the last episode. I don't see it being uh, Vax. I don't think, he, well, I feel like it'd be down to Pike or Scanlan. Bye. Oh, that's right. We still have Percy. I forgot about Percy. I'm sorry, Percy. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think Percy's gonna make it either. But uh, also interesting that Percy called Vex by, I believe her real name, Salia. Or no, I forget who's the one that gives everyone nicknames. I'm sure it's Vax that does that. It was either Vax or Percy that does that. If it's Percy, then that's cute that he gives her like a, that kind of nickname. Oh, okay, Grog. Fight formidable. But you clearly know not where your strength comes from. Wait, what'd you just say? <laughs> Doesn't even get a chance to process, just bye. It's like swatting an right. annoying fly. Rules. We all hit him together before he can react. <sighs> I don't think that's gonna work. Wait. There's gotta be another way. Is it gonna be scaling? Like Oh my god, it's actually coming down to scaling. No way. <laughs> How many are we gonna do? Forget about me. I don't think so. Scanlan, come on, bud. I believe in you. Allow me a moment of utter sincerity. Is he gonna wound him by the heart? I swear to God, if he does like some kind of em emotional damage. <laughs> Scanlon's voice actor is honestly a good singer. Oh my God, he's actually gonna do emotional. Is he gonna cry? Is the sink gonna cry? Mm -hmm. A tear? I was kidding with the emotional damage, but oh my god, Scanlan, I love you. <laughs> Scanlan is my favorite character that I'm like, ah, he's funny and stuff, and he's got his moments. So now, oh my god. And the, like, the fact he even thought of a song like that, and he, like, used his bard magic to form them and did their own like dance in the thing and instead of it being like something dirty that they do it's just like an actual like fist forehead touch like scan has got a sweet soft side he just yeah again he covers that up with his innuendo jokes and everything you have done what no other has before you have wounded me because of you i feel pain, pain for you have wounded my heart, my heart. you gotta be shitting me <laughs> He's like, that actually worked? Okay. <laughs> that worked? I never thought a mortal could possess the So much love in my life. Uh actually. Are we actually getting a real deep moment from Scanlan? Perhaps you need to stop looking for love and let love find, find you. you. Yeah. Never thought about it. Why is this actually so like touching? Like, don't make me tear up over it. This is not what I did not expect a Scanlan like moment to make me be the first thing to make me tear up. Okay, don't make me tear up, please. And also, this face is curling his tail around. Scan, like, come on. Also, wait, does that confirm that Scanlan doesn't have a thing for Pike? I thought he did, or is it that he's just too scared to pursue it? Or, no, I mean, the Sphinx just said, let it come to you instead of you pursuing it, so. How about nice thighs, yo, touch me? Eh? <laughs>
Their faces. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I think if we were in their places and we saw this, we would all have a similar reaction. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Scanlon's the one? It's totally cool, guys. Me and Cam are tight. In Me and Cam. Of existence, this is the wisest sage I've ever known. Oh my god. This is too good. The fuck? <laughs> and just cut the episode there. That's it. Just all of them saying. With this. What's that? Scalver? The vestige known as Myth Carver. Connected Scallons? to all myths and legends. Oh. Including the other vestiges. That thing is so freaking huge for him. Please tell me it shrinks down to like a toothpick. Thank you. That's more just a twist. <laughs> oh, but Cammy, I didn't get you anything. Cammy. <laughs> a crazy forest with upside down waterfalls. Reminds me of a drug trip. Shrooms. That sounds sort of like the <clears throat> Fey Realm. Ooh, Fey Realm? I see something inside this gnarly tree. Oh, Vex. Some badass looking bow. That's definitely for Vex. Isn't the Fey Realm on another plane of existence? That's inconvenient. Ah, well, you'll figure it out. Could get us there, but uh, it, it might not work. Kiki, think you could try. Okay, yeah, so it is Vax that gives the nicknames. I wasn't sure if it was Percy or Vax. I knew it was one of them. Uh, but yeah, him saying Kiki, I remember now. There's a bunch of dudes who look like Grog. One's got a vestige. Big. Is this the one that Grog saw in his dream? Is this Pop? Giant. Gauntlets. Thanos gauntlet? Infinity stuff? <laughs> I'm sorry. They're glowing. Uh, that's probably not important. Mm. Okay, what is going on with you? <gasps> oh! What's that? A cave collapse? Oh, gotta go. What was that? We're not alone. Dragon? I'm afraid you've been followed. Dragon. Everyone get down! Acid boy. Oh, are we gonna see a Sphinx dragon fight? Sphinx didn't get crushed, did he? I'm not gonna think so. I don't think Sphinx is gonna be taken out by a, a cave collapse. Yes. Oh, I hope you get your your acid gullet, whatever, just. Yeah, Cam. Oh. We gotta jump in. Not yet, Defiler. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> You've got a sword, Scanlan. Use it. Uh-oh. I'll say a little more help from everyone would be nice. Go for the throat thing, the acid thing, and then also his eyes. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's been wounded. Oof. Go, Cam. No, my prize. Ah. Well, he's been hurt. No. I hope Cam doesn't die. Cammy! No! Thank you for showing me Osisa once more. Bruh. <laughs> Don't get me attached to a character. <laughs> they just have him not. Least of all you. Oh, please, Galen. Somebody, please kill this guy. Step it up, Keyleth. Uh, about Grog? What if he hurts, like... No offense, but he's kind of beating this dragon's ass. Why don't you all just tag team and help now? I mean, kind of. He's still getting beaten up, but you know. What are you doing? We gotta leave! 
He's injured. Kill him now. What happened to Pike? Where is she? They got transported to a different area, didn't they? Fey World? Wasn't that the intention, right? Wow, okay, somber music in the sun, of course. I'm actually sad over Clam's death. Like, I liked him, like, compared to his mate. Uh, <laughs> I'm sad, I'm upset. <laughs> I actually like Clam. I was kind of hoping, like, oh, you know, oh, we'll have him, like, in the future or something like that. Okay, so, oh, my thoughts for the episode. That was, <laughs> it was a really good episode about the same time. Screw you guys. You, you know what? Scanlan caused emotional heart pain to scan, to Cam. Well, you just hurt my heart. Because <laughs> not only did you kill off Cam, but you also, fa what looks like fatally injured Pike, which I don't think Pike's going to die, but like, yeah, something like she's been gravely injured and uh yeah, but it's interesting that they've been split off. So you got Grog, Scanlan, and Pike. And why do I feel like almost like Scanlan's gonna realize he loves P Pike? Uh, with whatever that's gonna happen with them. And Grog's gonna go through his own stuff. Like I wonder if Grog like runs off because he's afraid of hurting them or something like that, and then Scanlan's gonna have to take care of her for something, and then he realizes he loves her or something like that. I don't know, that's what I feel. Um but yeah, oh my god, no, that was quite the episode. Uh, I honestly, I feel like if Pike, if they had all like, oh, don't get me wrong, like they were losing against the dragon, even though they had the help of Cam and like they were all fighting it. Grog was starting to do some good damage on the dragon, so like I would have let Grog go off, and that's when I would have just everyone should have just helped fight the dragon because I think they actually would have at least like really hurt it and gotten the vestige back. But instead, they were like, no, let's run now, even though Grog's doing some good damage on him. <laughs> let's leave. And it's just like, no, that's not when you leave. You leave when you see there's no other option. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so now they're in the Fey world. Curious on what's going to happen there. Um, oh, my. That, that was an episode. Um, but, honestly, I think it might be my favorite episode of this season. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. The I, the first episode of the season with all the dragons destroying, like, the city and everything. Like, I love the animation in that one. Especially, like, the backgrounds and stuff. Um, but I don't know. I think overall, like, characters, like, the the plot, the characters, the animation, the music in this episode. I think everything was 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> like, I really like this episode. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I don't think I have much more to add. Overall, great, fantastic episode. Look forward to see what happens in the next one. Um... Uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep bringing bright. See ya!